guys and welcome to Rafflina's American Girl Doll channel. In today's video I'm reviewing um, the two world traveler sets, the Moroccan and the Peruvian one, the outfits uh, and a little bit of the accessories on the dolls to show you um, my my view and take on them. And I think we'll start with the Moroccan one first. I have it being modeled on Maritza the World by Us doll. Um, I'm gonna link in on the top her opening video because I don't have a uh, Truly Me 84, which is shown here. The hat on her kind of looks a little bit more like a pirate style. Um, and I, you know, chose to do it like that. Um, and so that's kind of how it looks like on the front and the back. I absolutely love the yellow scarf with the blue shirt. The blue shirt is a v-neck and so you can see that this kind of covers that detailing. The pants are really loose and actually, well not loose, but were very easy to get on even with the belt. Um, I put them, I threaded the belt through the pants before pulling it up over the shirt. Um, it goes over the shirt. Um, I love these sandals. Overall, this is a really great outfit. I have no complaints. I think it actually looks even more amazing in person. And I just love the way it looks like on my Maritza doll. And I thought it was fitting. You know, it's the whole World by Us series to have her, you know, traveling in Morocco. Um, and then this is the little purse. And then you can put the little purse, you know, over, you know, on her. But it kind of, it does like affect how the scarf kind of works. But you can, you can get it on plus the scarf. Um, so I was really happy about it. I think it looked fairly close to... The only thing that looks a little different is in this picture, the way they pulled the hat down over... I don't know, it just ended up looking a little different. Um, but overall, it was fairly similar to the photos. Just a lot prettier, I think, in line. I mean, in person. Um, Yvette is modeling the Peruvian outfit. And um, I have a couple of things that I will note about this outfit. It was very tight. And so Yvette is a brand new doll. Um, I don't understand why the outfits would be tight on her. Um, I can understand, you know, some other dolls, but it was very tight and there's like a little flap here. So you have to put it on and then tie the tassel. I'm not perfect at doing these little ties, um, but it seemed, this one was a little bit, I love the flounce sleeves, first of all. But the dress is very short. Um, in the photo, it, it kind of goes to the knees. And then the socks might be scrunched up, but the socks don't go as high. So this, let me take this off. Sorry, my, my tripod was like a little too high. So I just want to show this, um, what I'm talking about here. So these are her knees. And then this is where the dress is. Um, and this is where kind of her underwear line, top of her underline is. And this is where... Um, this seam is. I feel like this seam should have been lower and maybe this bodice is too short but it's also possible that this piece is too short and overall the whole thing is too short because um, those are her knees and the socks actually go a lot taller than I had expected because of the picture. Um, now maybe the socks are scrunched up in the photo. Let me just zoom in on the photo so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I think they might be scrunched up, so you could take these socks and like push them down to get maybe that effect that she has on the photo. Okay. But I pulled them up all the way first because just to kind of show you what it looks like all the way. If you scrunch them down, it looks even more short. And it really doesn't look like the photo. So I'm just telling you guys this so that you're aware. At least mine, it might be defective. I may call American Girl. I'm a little bit on the fence about it. I think it looks super cute, like up close, you've got the embroidery, you've got the hat. Like I may just put some black tights on this and call it a day, but I might call and ask if it's defective or not. I'm not really sure. Looks cute with the purse. The purse really goes well with these socks. Um, overall, the outfit's adorable, um, but just wanted you guys to be aware because again, this is a review video. And part of my reason for doing these videos is um, if, if you've been a American Girl enthusiast for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you know, you get a product from American Girl, and sometimes it might look different than the photos online, and then you just kind of wonder, how does other people's look? 
you know, is this something normal? Is mine defective? Um, and so I like sharing my thoughts and comments um, about these outfits with you. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you learned something. I do think they look amazing on both of these dolls. Um, I think um, I'm going to try to do a scene. I already have um, a little stuffed llama that I think would go great with this set. I may get a stuffed camel, not sure. Um, but they also have a palm tree. So I'm going to try to do a Moroccan and a Peruvian setup um, in the new... <clears throat> excuse me, in the new year, in 2022, um, and please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Which outfit is your favorite? Um, I have to say, I, I really love the Moroccan outfit. Part of my reason for liking, like, if I had to pick between the two, I think I would pick the Moroccan one. Part of my reason is because it comes with a lot of items that you don't normally get. You get, you get the headscarf, plus you get a regular scarf, plus you get this blue shirt that you can use with so many different things. You could pair these capri pants with a lot of different things, um, the sandals are amazing. I do really love the shoes that come with the Peruvian set, and I love the embroidering here, and, I, and the hat could also be used with a number of different outfits. It's just not my, I don't know, it's just not my favorite. Um, I do really like the flounce sleeves, though, but like if I, if you could only get one, I think maybe I would get the Moroccan outfit. Um, I think I like the Peruvian accessories a little better. I like that they all could fit in the purse themselves, but again, um, I'll link up in the top my top um, picks under $25. I do really like the Irish set um, and then also the British set just because uh, they're bigger. You could fit more things in them. Um, this you can't get really much in, um, but it's cute as you can see. I just love the colors in this and I like how it really goes with Maritza. Um, and I, and you know, this goes well with Yvette's eyes. Um, this kind of turquoise color. So I'm happy with both sets, but um, you know, when you do a review video, you have to critique them and figure out all the things that are wrong with them. Um, let me know down in the comments if you've gotten the Peruvian set, if you've noticed this issue with it being a little bit on the shorter side. Again, in this frame, it looks fine. It's just when, when I mess with my tripod, when you look down, it definitely looks short. Um, let me know if yours, you know, look the same. If mine's an oddball, if mine's odd, um, and unlike yours, then maybe I will ask American Girl. I have to think about it. Um, sometimes I return things, sometimes I don't. Um, but I do really, really enjoy that they're trying to come out with both the World by Us dolls and then these World Traveler sets. I, I really greatly enjoy them. Um, I like having, um, I also just like the idea of thinking about travel um, and planning my next travel destination that I want to go to. Um, and please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. If you hit the notification bell down in the corner, you will be notified when I upload a new video. And I hope um, you've learned something, and I hope you keep on loving dolls. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye!